There is a, a new set of pictures that have been released of Gabrielle Giffords, the Arizona congresswoman who was shot by Jared Lee Loeffner. And, you know, what? when I saw these pictures, the, they were released under the guise of how good she looks. But I, I, I was pretty I was pretty upset when I saw these pictures because she's unrecognizable. If you look at pictures of what she looked like before the shooting and what she looks like now, uh, we haven't really seen the public hasn't seen pictures of her since she was shot in early January. And word is she may be leaving the hospital within a month. And honestly, I, I understand people are trying to be positive. But when I saw the pictures, it's it's very sad. I mean, it's it. it but what do you expect? I mean, you have to admit that she looks pretty good for someone who got shot in the head. No, you don't see any visible injuries, etc. But it, it looks like a completely different person. And you can just looking at it, you know that her mental state, the, the, the injury is significant. I think is, is fair to say. I mean, Natan was talking about these pictures before the show, and it's to, to say, I, I understand we're being positive, and it's fantastic she even survived this, but it's very sad to see because because you can tell that things are not right. I just think that a lot of times when there are accidents like this to that happen to celebrities of any sort or politicians, it becomes like a necessity to have a picture afterwards where they're smiling and they're happy and. Uh, not as if nothing happened, but as if uh, they're okay. Right. But I don't know if that's necessarily, you know, what the pictures that come out should always be. I mean, isn't what happened pretty terrible? Is I mean, yeah. is it a necessity for her to be smiling as if everything's, you know, happy-go-lucky? Well, we're not implying that this is a staged picture, but th right. I mean, the, the it's very calculated, and the idea is to show her happy. And I get it. But, you know, all the information we hear, she, the woman's having trouble putting together two sentences. You know, I mean, she's having significant cognitive trouble. We don't know whether she'll continue to recover or not. It's it's very sad. It's really very sad. And to think now that we, what what will happen with Jared Lee Loeffner, we don't know. We're starting to hear discussions, Lewis, of possible insanity pleas, that he's not fit to stand trial. Um, and this woman's life, no matter no matter what happens from what we're hearing from doctors and her staff, no matter how positive the outlook may may be, she's not it, it, it is not realistic to think she will be what she was before, you know, and that that's the sad reality. Right. Um, the account, I don't even really want to go into it, but the account that her staff gave was was candid for sure. But it was really pretty grim uh, in terms of how she's doing. I mean, it's. Certainly just having all the things you would expect if you were shot in the head and the bullet enters and leaves. Uh, she can never even have an MRI to determine what the extent of the damage actually is because there are shards of the bullet still in her head. Um, I don't know. It's, it's, it's really pretty heartbreaking. Yeah, it's too bad. On the bonus show today, we'll be talking about uh, some terrifying zoo exhibits. And I actually have quite a bit to say about this because I've, I've kind of read some a lot of different things which ask, what if there was a human zoo exhibit? Would it change our view? And there have been a number of these done. Would it change our view on zoos in general? Also, how much would you pay for a guard dog? You're going to be pretty shocked. I was shocked anyway to read about what some people are paying for some highly trained German shepherds. And it also looks, even after everything we've gone through, Lewis, with the birth certificate and our Kenyan, Muslim, Native American, anarchist, socialist, um, what else, communist president, mm -hmm. it seems like the birthers are back. And I'm not talking about wing nuts in Texas. I'm actually talking about Republican, possible Republican nominees. Birthers are back. And are we going to hear about birtherism at tonight's New Hampshire debate? Wouldn't surprise me. We'll talk about that in the bonus show, too. We're giving away the iPad. Make sure to sign up for the bonus show, davidpackman.com slash membership. And uh, we're giving away the iPad. Ten entries for every member as of the last day of June. So head on. Back with more after this. The David Pakman Show at davidpackman.com.